Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the Shield Hero. Yes. And we're going to talk about the, uh, I guess, the duplicity of a lot of uh, pop culture news sites when it comes to anime like the Shield Hero. Right. In in uh, particular, we're going to talk about comicbook.com in this uh, article that popped up in the last couple of weeks where they basically bust on the Shield Hero using rape as a plot device. Well, let me tell you the backstory how we got to here. I was going and looking for stuff and, and the Shield Hero thing, exclusive, it was on comicbook.com. It was like exclusive clip of, you know, next episode or whatever. And I noticed they've been doing this a lot. And I was like, wait, weren't they one of the ones who were like kind of making comments when it first came out yes yes they were mm -hmm. so i went and found an article from january from them saying you know about it where they get this one point they're probably trying to play neutral but there's clearly a bias and then the same article pops up again in march so let's talk about the article first and we'll talk about why that's weird yeah okay so the article is is basically uh, we have the march version <laughs> pulled yeah, up here but they're the same but they're talking about again the the talking point that a lot of people have had uh with Come this here, with this series is you know they, they bring up the uh the false rape accusation which happened in the first episode of the series second episode of the series but say here it's called here's why everyone is up in arms over the rising of the shield here okay Content and spoiler warning. This Trigger warning. This editorial will frankly discuss the many elements causing a controversy in the first episode and spoil some future events in the series. So they basically talk about, you know, it's, it's kind of like a synopsis or whatever goes up to it. So they get to the rape accusation and they talk about that. And then they said, this is where it's funny. We're, we're, you know, story on the rape accusation um, paints the entire series in a bad light, according to its detractors, as it's meant to set the entire series into motion. Now, this is where it's funny. Rape as a plot device is bad enough, but here it serves as the origin of the entire plot. No. Not by the detractors, though. That's the author talking at that point. What's made it worse in the eyes of the detractors, so now it's the detractors again, are the implications of what kind of message a false accusation of this nature sends to the audience. So it's funny, they keep mentioning the detractors, but they, they, they hide their own opinions in there with the detractors. Yeah, it's it's almost like talking in a third person, isn't it? It's yeah. like, you know, you know, what I think, what bothers me, I mean, the detractors about this. It's uh, rap rape source. as a plot device is bad enough. I mean, the detractors think, you know, and they hide that in there. Link to detractors saying these things. You know, quote some of these detractors. Well, no, they were. There was detractors all over the place. They yeah, were mad yeah. about it. But it's funny because they're going on about the detractors. They're kind of blaming it on them. Like, look, look, we're innocent. We're just reporting. And then they get their own little personal jabs in there at the same time. I thought it was kind of funny. This happens with so many articles that we've read on other topics, like, you know, Captain Marvel and all that, where everything starts out quasi normal. And then you get about halfway through the article and they start just coming off the rails, going into like weird political rants, uh, anti-Trump rants, all kinds of bizarre stuff that have nothing to do with the article. And we've seen this happen on many of these sites. Mm -hmm. It's like they do, en they, they put enough out there to, I guess, trick uh, Google News or casual readers into thinking it's actually about pop culture and it winds up being some political Thing. Right. Well, this yeah. one they hide there. And in the next paragraph, they they get some digs in again. The presentation of the accusation in a world where women hold the power is that it makes women untrustworthy in the eyes of the series. But this isn't the detractors. This is apparently the author. That women are capable of accusing men of such thing as rape as a way to take advantage of unsuspecting men like Nafumi. That her accusation shouldn't be taken at face value and the sinister way in which it plays out only further exacerbates the oddness of such a thing. Actually, it's not that odd it happens all the time. Uh, but again, so we're, we're, the, the detractors, this is the detractors. We're trying to be, you know, fair here as trying we get our neutral. own flipping personal opinions in there. What they're not mentioning is that as the series progresses, you know, Raftalia proves herself to be uh, one of the most loyal, right? You know, people you could ever ask for. That. So it's not all women. It, you know. it does. Well, here we go about detractors again. Like the rape accusation, detractors of the series have seen that final bit as slavery apologist. Slavery like rape has been an element of other anime series, though it's treated a bit differently here. Nafumi does purchase this girl named uh, Raftalia, and he does keep her as a slave, though it soon becomes clear that he has no interest in treating her as one. Yeah, that's what makes it different. And they're talking about here, it's only half the major issues early viewers have with the first episode. The second half comes with the premiere with, you know, basically the slavery. Um, yeah, but uh, he's talking about how he's he's cold to her because of the rape accusation. That's not it. Uh, the rape accusation is sort of the um, the the cherry on top of the the shit flavored Sunday, right? Yeah. That he's given. It's the entire kingdom. This entire world 
is against him, and that's just one of many uh, things that sort of that that's the thing that sort of sends him over the edge. But he finds out that the odds are completely stacked right. against him. But like this person, it's funny. Like they're trying to report on what happened and why you know why it's controversial as they get their digs in themselves, which I think is funny. Um, they talk about you know they bring it they bring up Goblin Slayer and they said you know but unlike slavery um, introduced the rape accusation event is the only time something like this is used in the series. So they do admit that. Unlike the controversial anime of last season, Goblin Slayer, the use of rape is not a constant going forward. Um, and they talk about basically it's like a rare fantasy story. And then at the end, it's up to the viewers themselves to decide whether or not this will be enough to detract them from watching this series. But know the controversy is rooted in very real issues. Yeah, we gathered that when you got your jabs in. It's not a great look for fantasy series to show up ugly realities in a whoa, distorted whoa, way. Whoa. Okay, they just got done saying you decide for yourself. But you decide for yourself, but I'm going to make you feel really, really guilty. I'm going to lead you in the right, in the correct path, the moral high ground. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what the right thing to do is, but it's up to you. Uh, you can either eat from the tree or not eat from the tree. Totally up to you. But, uh, you know. Yeah, it there is. you go. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, it's not a great look for a fantasy series to show off such ugly realities in such a distorted way. And although it's admittedly handled better here than the original light novel series, there's no real reason for such an intense element such as this right from the get-go. Yeah, there is. It sets up the whole damn story. Hello? <sighs> do, do, do people get falsely accused of things all the time? Yes, it happens. And I'm sorry you don't like that it happens, but it happens. Would it make somebody jaded and pissed off at the world? Yes. Does it happen that everything comes against you and it makes you kind of hard-hearted and everything else? Yes, this is very real. This is the ugly reality of life, but it's not distorted. I'm sorry. It's not as black and white as, as people like to think it is. It's not just good guys and bad guys. And a lot of these pop culture journalists, especially, especially when we start getting into the politics, mm -hmm. they really truly think they are the good guys and the people who disagree with them are the bad and this guys. this is their if, platform to right. educate everyone. To tell everybody what the right, it's almost like a pulpit. You well, know? that's like the thing with the Star Wars stuff. Yeah, you know, if you don't like The Last Jedi, they automatically call you names and assume there's something really wrong with you to the place that they're like, not liking The Last Jedi is, is a, an offense that, that war warrants unfollowing you, not being your friend, trying to ban you from, from the conventions and stuff. Just because you don't like a movie. It is ridiculous, but go back to the top. But speaking of, you know, questionable things, Let's talk about this part. Um, so the article I found, uh, when I clicked on it, it, said January 9th. And when you click on it, though, it jumps to March 24th for the same article. Yeah, and even if you look at if you look at uh, uh, the URL, it actually is dated, it's in WordPress, it's dated uh, January 8th, 2019. So it was originally written at the beginning of January. Well, why would somebody do that, that they would change the date and repost it? Well, if I had to speculate, uh, I would say that they're trying to get uh, the numbers up. Yeah, trick Google into thinking this is fresh content when it's not actually fresh content. So instead of hiring people to write more articles, we're going to just try to post it again, change the date. Right, and they might have posted it like right before. Uh, was that was that the week they had the curse shield? They unveiled the curse shield like it was a big like it was a talking point. It's almost like I wonder if they're going through and they're like, okay, what's popular this week? What's trending on Google search this week? Oh, let's change the dates on some of our articles. Uh, to to jump into that uh, news stream, so people yeah. are going to be looking for this. It's kind of a pooey thing to do. Well, you know, it wouldn't surprise me because a lot of these blogs right now are are pretty desperate for hits. And um, twenty six comments. I wonder. Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, we deleted one hundred percent bias. Two months ago. Yes. Thank you. I agree with you. It is not. It is completely biased. They're like, oh no, we're doing a newsy article. No, it is completely biased. Um, it goes against everything. And then that's something else. They said watch episode four that just came out because this is two months ago. Um, and this article is bu bumped up to March, which wasn't even a month ago. So yeah. um, if they're trying to say, that, oh, no, no, this is a new article. Well, how come there's comments from two months ago saying that it's it's not uh, right? And if they had, you know. Yeah, three months ago. We have a comment from three months ago. We've yeah, got... here, here. What a thinly veiled attempt at appearing neutral on an issue. Yes. Yeah, from three months ago. From three because months ago. this article is three months old uh you know it's very very odd that you know and i have to wonder if comicbook.com is doing it here is this the norm for them like are other blogs doing the same thing are they repurposing old content 
to get more hits because you know it's cheaper than paying somebody That's to write another article. I think they're just trying to get away cheap. I like this one. A movie with the plot origin being a rape woman goes on a month long revenge tour. No problem. It'll probably be held as a dark and gritty and progressive anime anime where some poor schmuck gets his life ruined by a woman falsely accusing him of rape is a horrible injustice and should be hated. Pretty much. Wow. Are there any any positive comments? It seems like everybody's pissed off at this guy. Uh. Yeah, I mean, it's just like the origin of plot is effective rejection, betrayal, people not believing in you. And yes, false, false accusations, all those change him. That's the point. It's not just the rape accusation. <sighs> it's it's the whole damn world is against him. And he starts out as uh, being a pretty chill, trusting person. And then within the course of a couple of days in this place. It's like being uh, on place, Twitter, young yeah. and naive and going on to Twitter. Um, no, what actually started this whole thing was because... Um, I had been looking for the, oh, well, you went on to a different thing. I thought you had the search thing I pulled up. Is this it? Okay. Here's the search thing I put up. This is what started the whole thing was I saw that they had a clip up. I don't think it was, I think it was even more recent than this day. I mean, it was April 2nd. The, the you know, clip teases new deadly plot. They have these exclusive clips, exclusive clips, exclusive clips. Why would they give them exclusive clips when they kind of pissed all over the show back in January? They probably have a deal with Crunchyroll or Funimation or something. I want a deal where I, I can say whatever the hell I want and piss all over something and they give me rewards for it. Your show's garbage. You shouldn't be watching it. It's sexist and misogynistic. Give us some, some free give, give stuff. Give us some exclusives so we can get our hits up. Give I mean, us exclusive content. That's why, that's the only reason that set me off on this to begin with was, wait, you're getting exclusives? And I was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Oh, here Yeah, that's the new that. one. Yeah, I'm like, wait a minute. You guys were the ones that were pissing on it to begin with. Well, it's coming from Elation and it's Nick Valdez again, the same guy. Who was pissing on it in the beginning. took a piss on it, but it's coming from Elation, which is Crunchyroll. So Crunchyroll okay. has a deal with comicbook.com. Is he the one that does all these clips? Because I'd rather yeah. pick an older clip. And the reason I would is because it doesn't ruin anything for anybody who, you know. I wasn't going to play the clip. I'm just looking at the album. Yeah. yeah. And Nick Valdez he... does all the, all well, the shield Find a more recent stuff. one. Find a more recent one. That's not the one for this week. Like, um, there's one April 2nd. Go up. It's April 2nd. Now, click on that and see what and how the writing is on this. Rising Shield Brush's first clip, episode to end. After the Rocky Star realizes, okay, but yeah, it does tell you what happens. Um... Yeah, it's just, uh, this is sort of, why so is this guy he... pissed all over and basically said, I'm not telling you what it. to do, but... And then he's the one putting these exclusive clips up he's to the get them hit. putting the clips up. I'm just like... like why would you... Because they're clearly, they're clearly, you know, I don't know if they're paying, if they're paying them or what. Uh, no, no comments at all. Like, nobody cares. They're getting no interaction off of this. So, Elation, if you are paying comicbook.com to put these clips up, you're not getting anything off of it. No, give them dust because you'll get something from it. Yeah, right. Anyway, I'm just saying. Yeah, right? We'll get I'm something serious. off of it. I'm just saying, I thought this was funny because when I saw it, they had an exclusive clip. I was like, why are they giving them exclusive clips when they pissed all over your show back in January? And I went and looked it up. I'm like, yeah, they did. They got digs, all kinds of digs in there. And then basically, I'm not telling you what to do, but if you're a good person, you won't watch it, basically is what they said. And then they posted it twice to try to fake the numbers and boost themselves up, uh, make them artificially, you know, you know, trending when they weren't. You know, if, if these companies were smart, their PR people would reach out to YouTubers instead of going out to these blogs, <laughs> you know, these really questionable blogs, because I think they probably would get more traction. Especially if they, they, they basically kind of told people not to watch your show in the first place. Yeah, I right? mean, why would you give them the exclusives? Nick Valdez is like, here, watch this exclusive clip exclusively on comicbook.com. Uh, you know, except for the fact that I'm telling you not to watch the show. Uh, not to watch the show in an earlier post that we we changed the date on. Uh, seriously, WTF. I know. That's why I, <laughs> I, that's why I it. brought it to your attention because I was like, what? So anyway, that's the reason we did this video because we're just like, what? That's so, like saying that. What? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Um, but yeah, the, the, the media, the pop culture media definitely has that out for the Shield Hero. They don't like the Shield Hero. No. Um, you know, and, and I'm sorry, but the, the rape is not the, the rape accusation is not the main focus and of you, the show. Well, you can maybe excuse it on the first article, even though I don't think there's an excuse for it. But if you could excuse it, okay, because this person's getting caught up in the thing and he doesn't watch past it because no one was. And, you know, even though they had the first couple of episodes up by then. Um, you know, you could maybe say, okay, okay, he didn't get far enough into it. But they reposted the same article in March when they could have made corrections. And they didn't. Yeah. They just reposted the exact same article. It's so funny. God, just ridiculous. And then he continues to post exclusive clips and synopses of the uh, synopses of the, the, the episodes. 
so they anyway, keep giving him stuff to work I with. Just, I just thought it was funny, and I thought I'd, 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 this, I'd mention it. This is how this is how the the, the pop culture media works, though. This is the the big kind of you we know. We always say media with quotes. Yeah, it is. It's not. They're fan blogs. They're 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 high profile fan bloggers. Uh, and they promote Crunchyroll real. stuff, apparently. Yeah, they do. They so do. I'm not Crunchyroll. saying. I'm just. It's a little weird. Anyway, okay. Yeah. So let's wrap this up then. All right. So we're gonna wrap this one up. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more here on Clownfish TV. We'll yeah. talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.